So in example six, we're going to solve the boundary value problem that we first met in example four. Um, so we did most of the work here in examples four and five. Example six, we're just going to kind of drop in the answers that we got from before. <coughs> so let me remind you what we figured out earlier. We figured out in example example five it was that we found those coefficients b n and what we got was negative one to the n plus one times eight over n pi. Um, and now let me remind you of the general uh, solution to the heat equation, which we worked out, um, we really worked this out a couple of lectures ago, um, but I reminded you at the beginning of this lecture what the general solution was. It's this fairly complicated formula, sum from n equals 1 to infinity of bn. It kind of looks like the Fourier series formula, sine of n pi x over l, but then there's also this uh, t term, e to the negative n squared pi squared alpha squared t over l squared. So rather complicated, uh, but the good news here is we've already figured out all the numbers here, so we really don't have to do any more work. We're just plugging things in. So what we figured out is that l is equal to 4. That came from here. Uh, we figured out that alpha squared is 4. That came from here. There's my alpha squared. Um, and we've got our bn. We figured that out in example 5. Quite a bit of work to figure that out. That's probably the most work in the problem is actually finding those Fourier coefficients. And I think that's all we need. We can plug everything in here. I'm going to go ahead and factor out an 8 over pi because that's the same everywhere. 8 over pi from the bn. Now we've got negative 1 to the n plus 1 over n sine of n pi x over 4. Now, I've got alpha squared is 4, l squared is 16, so I can simplify that a little bit, We're just into 1 over 4. Uh, e to the negative n squared pi squared. I'm going to combine my 4 and my 16 into um, into the denominator with 4. And that's all I have. That is my complete solution to that boundary value problem. That's a solution to the differential equation and the two boundary conditions and the initial condition. And it only took us four lectures to get there. So let me recap that. We've got uh, alpha squared is equal to 4 here. Um, we've essentially done all the hard work of solving this problem in the previous example. So if you haven't just watched example 5, that's where I got the bn is negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 8 over n pi. I didn't figure that out right here. That's not just a guess. That came from doing a lot of integration and some work with the Fourier series in the previous problem. Having found that, however, I can just take that bn and drop it into my generic formula for the solution to the heat equation, which we derived several lectures ago, bn sine of n pi x over l, e to the negative n squared pi squared alpha squared t over l squared. Um, our l is 4, we get that from the problem here. So we get 16 in the denominator there, alpha squared is 4, that's there. So 4 over 16 is where I got that, uh, is where I got this 4 in the denominator. Um, those terms are both coming from bn, and I factored out the 8 over pi because that didn't depend on n. And here I plugged in l is equal to 4, and here I plugged in what I know alpha squared is 4, and l squared is 16. So that's our complete solution to that partial differential equation and to the boundary value problem. And that's the end of our lecture on solving the heat equation. You should know how to solve a heat equation now. And that actually wraps up this chapter 
on partial differential equations. And that wraps up this whole set of lectures on differential equations. So it's been a long journey, but I really appreciate your uh, watching these lectures and joining me. I've had a lot of fun talking about differential equations, and I hope they go well for you. Uh, just to remind you, these are the differential equations lectures on educator.com. My name is Will Murray, and I really want to thank you for sticking with me through all the lectures. Bye-bye.